Hello folks, this is a 2010 uh, May June paper 4-3 and the question number is, uh, I forgot the question number, so let us see, let's not concern, not be concerned with the question number, it is uh, concerned with the chapter of capacitor. So the first question says that, uh, state two functions of capacitors in electric circuits. So the first two function is that it just stores energy, stores energy, and the second function is that uh, it has the ability to block DC. So wherever DC is to be uh, blocked, uh, then we can use uh, a diode. Uh, we can also use it to smoothen uh, rectified DC also, which has been obtained from AC. Uh, we can use it to construct oscillator circuits also, which is an integral part of uh, inverters as well as clocks, any types of clocks. Now, in question number B, it says that three capacitors, three capacitors here, each marked 30 microfarad and 6 volt maximum. So these things are given here. So this is the capacitance and this is the maximum uh, PD that it can with withhold. So these uh, things are given so that we can find the maximum charge they can hold. So this data will definitely give us that charge. So our student in figure just like, like this. So two of them in parallel and this parallel combination is in series with the third one. So for this arrangement, determine for the arrangement shown in figure 5.1, we have to find the total capacitance. So the capacitance should be, so this is a 30 microfarad. So this is a 30 microfarad. This is a 30 microfarad. And this also 30 microfarad. So the total capacitance should be equal to this and this. So if I name the points as A, B, and this is D, so we have Capacitance between D and B should be equal to 30 plus 30 microfarad. Microfarad which will be equal to 60 microfarad. And then the whole capacitance will be equal to capacitance from A to B should be equal to series of this thing and this capacitance. Should be the series of 30 and 60. So it is 30 into 60 divided 30 plus 60 and this becomes 1800 this is a 90 so it becomes 20 microfarad so the capacitance of the whole capacitor is equal to 20 microfarad now in the second question we have to uh, answer the maximum potential difference that can be safely be applied between points a and b so with this data we have to find the max pd that can be applied between here and here so what from this data what you can find is the maximum charge the capacitors can hold, Q max, is equal to capacitance into V max. And that's equal to, that's equal to, this is C is 30 microfarad into V max equal to 6. So this is equal to 180, 180 microcoulomb. So it is 180 microcoulomb. So now when the charge gets induced here, like somewhere like this, so when it is, 180 micro coulomb, coulomb here so it is plus and it's been minus so here i'll have a plus 180 micro coulomb here this will be minus 180 micro coulomb here now this minus 180 micro coulomb will be distributed somewhere here so here in total it should be plus 180 micro coulomb here since they have got equal capacitance this 180 will be divided equally so this will be plus 90 micro coulomb and this will be plus 90 microcoulomb. So this will be minus 90 microcoulomb. And here it will be minus 90 microcoulomb. So that means the max charge that they will get. When this, this gets the maximum charge 180, the max charge they will get will be 90 and 90. So the max charge they will get will be 90 and 90. So for this, the max PD is V. But here is somewhat different. So we have to find it. So the max charge will be 90 plus 90, 180. So in the second combination, so the max charge it whole is Q max of the whole combination is equal to uh, 90 plus 90 is equal to 180 micro coulomb. It's okay. Q max for this combination between, this is between D and B. But since the capacitance is somewhat different here, the capacitance is equal to, uh, what you can find here is, it is, <coughs> 30 plus 30 is 60. So we have, we have, we have uh, the V max will be equal to V max for dB should be equal to Q max for dB 
divided by this capacitance from D to B. So that's equal to Q max is 180 microfarad and this C dB is equal to 60 micro, micro. This is Coulomb and this is farad. So that's equal to 3 volt. So here it is Vmax is a 6 volt from here to here and here it is 3 volt maximum. So that's why the max PD will be equal to so Vmax Vmax total will be equal to equal to 6 plus 3 equal to 9 volts. So it should be 9 volts should be the answer. Now in the third question what we have is a capacitor of capacitance 47 microfarad so it is C equal to 4700 microfarad 4700 actually is charged to the PD of V1 is equal to 18 volt it is then partially discharged through a resistor such that the PD is reduced to 12 volts so this PD V2 is equal to 12 volt so now we have to find the energy dissipated so the initial energy is uh, energy initial is equal to 1 by 2 C V1 square and energy finally is equal to 1 by 2 C V2 square. So now the energy dissipated is equal to, so energy dissipated, dissipated is equal to delta E let us say, that's equal to E1 minus E2 equal to 1 by 2 C common V1 square minus V2 square. So, it should be equal to 1 by 2 into 4700 into 10 to the power minus 6. Since we have got a micro here. And uh, into V1 square is 18 square minus 12 square. So, its value would be equal to, let me use the calculator from another cell phone here. So, it will be equal to uh, 0.5 into 4700 zero, uh, zero, zero, mm, exponent exponent minus 6 equal to into bracket 18 square minus 12 square bracket close equal to so this thing is equal to 0. Point, equal to 0. 0.423 433 4, 3, 4, 3 joules so in 2SF it will be equal to 0. 0.42 joules and in 3SF it will be equal to 0. 0.423 joules so this is the answer, all of the answer to these questions.